What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another Mighty of Toys video. Today, we're back with another 2-in-1 AEW Unmatched Collection Series 6 review on Mr. Brody Lee and Owen Hart. But today, man, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time, especially on the Owen Hart figure, because this figure is legitimately the exact same figure we saw in the ringside exclusive. We're going to do the comparison. I'm going to take a look at these figures. I'll put them on the rotating base. I'll do those things, but I am not going to spend a whole lot of time on this, man, because this figure is straight up. They, they've, they're they going to release this figure three different times. You have this one, you have the Chase, and you have the ringside exclusive. And I love Owen Hart, but uh, this figure doesn't have enough going on for it for me to just sit here and dissect the hell out of it. And then you have the Mr. Brody Lee, which I am very excited for. This figure right here looks phenomenal. I, I just love suited figures you guys know that i love suited figures but look his his accessories are like the exact same as his unmatched series 3 figure and i don't want to spend a whole lot of time on both of these and what i want to do also is i want to see what this guy looks like in the gm's office just to kind of look at it so i'm definitely going to do that i think that would be a really sweet shot probably going to put that in the thumbnail or something like that if you guys already like what you see in this video Definitely go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there. Get in on all the goodies. Nonetheless, man, here it is. You do have the Luminaries Collection Owen Hart here as far as the packaging is concerned. You know, you got the blue Owen Hart over here, Luminaries Collection. Pretty cool looking figure here, but, uh, yeah, no, it's just the, uh, uh, black and white image on the back. I mean, it's a solid one, but, uh, yeah, not a lot of meat on the bone over here. And then you have Brody Lee again. We already seen him. He look, he looking handsome right here. Rest in peace to the legend here. Rest in peace to both legends, I should say. Both of these. Very very legendary. Got Brody Lee there. Love the suit. Rest of the figures in the wave. You guys missed our Malachi Black and Ruby Soho review from yesterday. Definitely check it out. But I'm cracking these guys out of the packaging. I'm looking at them on the rotating base. And then we're going to shut the hell up and just get into their accessories and the figures really quick like. All right, guys, so here's Brody Lee and Owen Hart out of the packaging. I don't know what the hell's up with my rotating base now. It's like I plugged in the charger or the, like, power cord for it, and now it's moving in slow motion. So I guess I could speed it up in post, but I do apologize for that. I don't know what the hell's going on with it, man. All kinds of wacky shish going on, man. It makes me want to just vomit. Nonetheless, posing these guys around is fun. You know, I didn't think the ringside exclusive Owen Hart was a bad figure. It just wasn't what everybody wanted. I thought the packaging probably was better than the figure itself. And, you know, this figure is not bad. Like, it feels really good in hand. It's actually kind of quality in hand you know when you feel in hand and you're posing it around and things like that it's almost as if you know it's it's one of the better feeling in hand figures like it doesn't have loose joints it doesn't feel like it's gonna fall apart poses around nicely all those different things and then the Brody Lee's the same way we said the same thing about his first figure you guys remember that the the unmatched series three figure so that doesn't really shock me that it feels good in hand and plus it's a suited figure and AEW has a great track record with street attires and backstage promo gears things like that so that's another thing but what we're gonna do is dive into Owen Hart and his accessories really quick like and then we're gonna do the same thing for Brody Lee I'm not gonna do like separate segments I'm just gonna showcase their accessories and then showcase the figure itself back to back and not do it on like a lower scale or what we usually do here so let's shut the hell up and get into it all right man, so getting into Owen Hart man you get two interchangeable head sculpts which this first one is the smiling head sculpt now I'm pretty sure we saw this on his last figure as well the ringside exclusive except it doesn't have a headband on it I don't have the head sculpt in my grasp but you guys can see here when I tilt it back it looks like the eyes are maybe a little bit misaligned but but it's not terrible, you know, it's not my favorite head sculpt, but it's not too, too bad. And then you have the interchangeable head sculpt, which is this pissed off one, which I like more. I think the pissed off one's better. And again, it doesn't have the headband. And whether you prefer the headband or not, you know, you do get this version. So I guess that is a little bit of difference, not only the attire, but you also get the change in head sculpts or you don't have the headband in the head sculpt. So that's good. And then outside of that, you have the exact same accessory that came with this ringside exclusive. And I don't remember what this championship's called, so I'll either plug in my footage from that review and let my past self take it away. Way. Looked, I do believe this is the Stampede North American Heavyweight Championship, if I'm correct. I could be wrong about that, but I think so. But we do get the championship there, and if, and if you compare it to the version that came with the ringside exclusive, the gold is more of like a flat or light gold compared to this version, which is like a more like saturated gold. And so this is the ringside exclusive. This is the Unmatched Series 6, just in case you guys were wondering. Now for the figure itself, I mean, you're looking at the exact same ringside exclusive figure, except it has red tights with white deco stars, lightning bolt stars. You know, it's the same exact deal. White boots. Everything is pretty much the exact same as that previous figure. So here's the ringside exclusive in the black and white. And then here is the Unmatched Series 6 here. You guys can see here, here's the head sculpt. And again, it's like the exact same sculpt. It doesn't have a headband and all that mess. But the figure feels good in hand, you know. It's not like anything like that. But just not a lot of meat on the bone here. Not a lot going on with it. So, you know, just kind of pick your poison with this guy. Again, though, feels really good in the hand, though. Articulation's good. It has tight joints. It's actually one of the better feeling AEW 
AEW figures you'll find. Like, no looseness, no weirdness, you know, things like that. So that's great. And then getting into Brody Lee, man, this head sculpt's pretty much identical to his last head sculpt, except the hair looks to be a bit darker. But I am digging the suit. I think the red nails it. You have, like, the suited coat here, double jointed arms. It does have pins in there, which hopefully we can get rid of. But he's got his vest. He's got his undershirt, his tie. He's got the dress slacks. This is not the exact same leg mold or crotch that we saw in his last figure. This is actually all newly sculpted, or at least they added the lower shin cut, which is always fantastic. His last figure didn't have that, so that's something to note for sure. You guys can see here, last time he had a belt and a belt buckle on there. That is a completely new sculpt with the slacks, and I mean, look at this right here. I just love this figure, man. It feels really good in the hand. It looks fantastic again, but I'm a sucker for a suited body, man. Like, he, look at that ab crunch, too. Like, he can, he can bend over pretty well. I apologize for that. Got solid shoulders here, biceps swivel. You get the double jointed arm. Neither of these guys come with interchangeable hands, which is weird, but and at first, when I first saw the figure, I was like, eh, that red's a bit too saturated, you know what I mean? But I think they nailed it. Like, I think the muted red here compared to the back, like, is it as realistic looking? Probably not, but I still think that it's a nice looking red, and uh, if you guys want to get into figure comparisons for Mr. Brody Lee, you have the Unmatched Series 6 Brody, the Unmatched Series 3 Brody in his wrestling gear, and then you have the pick-fed Wyatt Colt Brody Lee, or Luke Harper Elite over here, which I love. This is one of my favorite Luke Harpers. It does have some stainage from the shirt. I need to remake that figure with updates, but I always love that Elite 66 head sculpt, and I like all three of these figures. They look really good up next to each other, and if you take a look at Negative 1 in here, I always thought that made the Negative 1 figure too small, to be honest with you, but uh, it still looks good up next to the Brody Lee for your shelf. So if you want him in the suited look with Negative 1, you have that. I think that looks really, really well. Looks fantastic. I love it. And then, if you take out these two guys, you take out the Elite and the Unmatched, you could throw in the Dark Order in here. Well, I don't know what the hell's going on. I can't find my Anna J or my Stu Grayson, so I, I like I'm completely dumbfounded. I looked exactly where I thought they were, and they're not there. So I, I uh, <laughs> what the hell are we doing, Brad? But it is cool to see these up next to each other. You know, we do have more things coming down the pipeline that'll look good with this Mr. Brody Lee figure. And if you guys want to see what this Mr. Brody Lee looks like up next to the full Wyatt Colt, here's the Wyatt Colt with negative one. So yeah, you got Alistair Malachi Black there with all that. And then if you just want the full, you know, you want to throw in the the AEW Malachi Black in there with the rest of them. I'd, I'd love, like, I would love to do a match or, like, do some things with the AEW Malachi Black and certain figures, but they just make the damn chest and torso so big that it kind of throws off what I'm trying to do there. And also, for Brody Lee's accessories, he comes with the red and gold TNT Championship, which looks really good. I like the way this looks. Uh, very shiny. We've seen this before, so it's not anything groundbreaking, but we do get the TNT Championship with the red and gold in there. Would it be an AEW figure without an AEW microphone? No, but seriously, you do get the AEW mic, so that's a nice addition. To be fair, Owen Hart didn't come with one, which wouldn't make historical accuracy anyway, but uh, it's worth noting. And then he also comes with a stack of papers, so you get the dark papers or the, the stack of papers for the Dark Order, and then you get the roll of papers to smack people in the face with. So it's the same exact accessories, basically, as his Unmatched Series 3 figure, that we got a while back. So here's Mr. Brody Lee in the office. I don't really know exactly why I wanted to show this off, but I just think it looks good. Like, you know, especially the perspective there. So it just looks like he's in the office here and it just fits in nice with the suit. And you got the red carpet and you got the red suit and he's just looking like a badass. You got the bookshelf back there. I just like it, man. I like diodes and wrestling figure dioramas and stuff like that, man. Need to make more of these. I just think they look very, very cool. Especially, you know, you get interactive stuff like that. That looks amazing, man. Gotta get the damn pick fed, bro. Oh my God in heaven. <sighs> but anyways, this looks really good. I like the way this looks. You know, you can get a close-up shot here. You got Mr. Brody Lee in the office with the background and stuff like that. Yeah, that looks sick as hell, man. My God, what a beautiful figure. What a beautiful legend. Beautiful suited figure. Yeah, I'm satisfied with this purchase. But I think that pretty much wraps up our 2-in-1 AEW Unmatched Series. Number 6, Brody Lee and Owen Hart figure review, man. I apologize that we didn't do it, like, super in-depth. But, I don't know, I, I just... I wish there was a little bit more on the bone with this Owen Hart figure. I love the Brody Lee, but you guys know that I am a sucker for a guy in a suit. I love figures in suits. I like suited bodies. I like, you know, backstage gear, street attires, promo gears, things like that. That. I mean, the Unmatched Series 5 Kenny Omega, the Unmatched Series 4 Cody Rhodes, those were two of my favorite figures from 2021 or 2022. I think it was 2022, right? Like, I loved those figures, man. They were unbelievable. So, will this Brody Lee capture the same lightning in a bottle? I don't know because, you know, there, there's still plenty of figures to come this year, but it might crack the top 10, you know, because I, I just love suited bodies. I love Brody Lee. I think it's a beautiful looking figure. It poses around well, just like the rest. And both of these figures feel really quality. I'll say both of these feel better in hand than Malachi and Ruby Soho. So, that's a good upgrade there. But if you end of the day, if you already have the ringside exclusive Owen, I don't think this is a must grab, unless you just don't want the 
the headband, you know, because this, this head sculpts on these Owens don't have the headband. And then for the Brody Lee, you're a big Brody Lee guy, you know, you want this with your Dark Order, you want him in suit compared to his wrestling gear that we've already seen, then yeah, this is a this is a snag. And the hair sculpt is pretty much the exact same outside of the hair color. I feel like this one's darker. But other than that, I mean, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. But before we get out of here, man, let's go ahead and give a huge shout out to our patrons. And I have to give a huge shout out to Jules Winfield, John Webster II, for becoming a patron. Huge shout out to my man over there. He actually became a patron a few days ago, and for some reason I missed it, so I do apologize for that. However, that is going to wrap up this video, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Again, Ringside Collectibles, use code MD Toys to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there. But that is going to wrap this video up. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time. We'll never be